Welcome back, folks, the Let's Replay Discworld, and when last we left off, we went to ridiculous lengths to get both the parrot and the whistle that we used to summon the parrot to a sailor, so that we could find out we had to go to a barber shop to get a tattoo. We probably could have asked anyone off the street for that information, but this is a point and click adventure game, and so we must obviously take the most extreme method to get any useful tidbit of knowledge. Now, we have an autograph of the milkmaid, and we know where the barber is. The barber is in the woods waiting for the milkmaid. So, to get the barber back to his shop, we need to hand over that appointment book with the autograph. Let's go! The woods are nice and peaceful, and also very close by. I was about to go to the wrong woods. These woods are much better! Much less likely to get horribly killed here. And there is the barber. Just got to wait for luggage to appear. I was about to say in your own time luggage, but we do need to save Ankhmore Pork from a dragon that we summoned. Here you go. Right. Here you are then. The milkmaid is all set to be your next appointment. Oh, that's marvellous. I'll be seeing you. When do we tell him that the milkmaid has no knowledge of actually signing an appointment? Probably never. Let's go. This at least guarantees that he will be in his shop. Let's go and say hi and ask about that tattoo. Go to the street. I want to go onto this side of the street just to, just to save a bit of time. And I'm going to hope that I don't meet you in Act 4. Hello, how are you? You serve as the local tattoo artist, correct? Oh yes, I'm the best on the disc. All the heroes come to me. <laughs> Blindingly painful mutilations to the discerning gentry. That's me, sir. Here, take a seat and I'll do you now. Now, what style of tattoo are you interested in? And more importantly, what part of your body are we talking about here? <laughs> Those needles, they look pretty pointy. Razor sharp. It's so they can plunge efficiently beneath the flesh, you see. Hmm. Oh, yes. Stabbing into the living tissue, hooking through the skin and spurting ink. Each tattoo needs that to be done thousands of times. Oh, does it hurt? Oh, yes. The pain is quite intense. I've seen grown men turn into whimpering, creeping wrecks by just five minutes under my needles. Anyway, you're a pal, so I'll do one for you right now if you insist. You'll just have to bear with me. I'm too excited to work well. Me hands are shaking. Oh, I really hope I don't stab the needles in too deep and then break them off. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Look, um, I think I'll pass for now. Well, in that case, why don't you try one of those newfangled transfer thingamy tattoos? They're made from a special clutchy and squid dye that adheres to your skin for a day or so. Sounds great. Where can I get one? Try my son. He gives them away with bubble gum. Your son? Yes, the little street starfish. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I'll be off now. That I will. Also, when the barber was describing the process of getting a tattoo, yeah, that wasn't the greatest thing for me to hear, as someone with a uh, quite nasty phobia of uh, hypodermic needles didn't make me feel wonderful, but we don't need to have that happen, so that's good. Let's keep moving, and by keep moving I mean go to the lovable street starfish, who has remained relevant in each of the three acts. All we need is one of those uh, transfer tattoos, and we'll be on our way. Hello, little friend. Lovely bubblegum you have there. Oh, come on, governor. What? Well, obviously you're trying to swindle me out of something. Next thing, you'll be trying to trick me into performing some sort of stupid stunt as a diversion. Such as? 
I suppose you were going to get me to blow an incredibly huge bubble and then run off with the goods. Never. I don't think you can blow bubbles much bigger than you have been anyway. Of course I can. Here, watch. Can I hold your bubblegum packet for you? Oh, thanks. This is empty. It comes with a transfer. You don't think I'm going to let you have my transfer? It's collectible. Well, how do you collect a transfer? I mean, you have to put it on your skin. It'll wash off. Wash, Gav? Oh, right. Sorry, I use bad language. Tell me again about the attractions of being a lovable street life stereotype. I'm class background colour, I am, sir. You're about to die. Just give me the damn transfer. <laughs> Come and get it, pencil head. So, we're not going to be able to get it this way, but look at where the lovable street starfish is standing by. The meeting hall. It's time to go and do something very silly. Something else that I don't think I'd ever be able to do. I think people know what's going to happen because we're heading to the alley. And we're waiting for luggage. What item are we putting in our personal inventory? I'm glad you asked. It's the rubber belt. This has to be the second biggest, stretchiest object I've seen today. And that's saying something. In that goes. And up we go. Wait for it, Rinswind. We really should get the wizards to look at that, shouldn't we? Bet you didn't think we'd be going to this location again. Not just here. I'm not just referring not just referring to here. I'm also referring to the tower. Now I think you realize what I'm about to do. I like how with just a few pixels you can represent Rincewind. Also, no dragon here anymore. Let's go over to here. And let's use the rubber belt here. Careful. 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 And down we go. Whoa. Whoa. And we got it. And we're tied up. In your own time, Rincewind. I'll never touch the stuff again. We have it. We have the item. Now let's uh, make our way down, shall that we? That doesn't work. Fortunately, we can do that by just uh, left clicking. And that doesn't going to the tower. How, how do I? There we go. Like that. Slowly but surely, Rincewind. I don't remember if we need the rubber belt ever again, but we now have what we need. The fourth item. A transferable tattoo. A collectible, apparently. I'm not going to believe the lovable street starfish, but uh, it'll do. Looks like a crown. I I'm sure it will pass uh, cursory inspection. Now for the last time, let's head through this window. Hello! Ouch! And we're back. Let's have a look at this item that we've just got. Also, we'll need to take the, uh... the rubber belt out of our inventory. It's one of those newfangled painless tattoos. Yep. Good thing you've got one of those, Rincewind. Trust me. Also, I'm curious. If we head to the, uh... the square, has anything changed? Let's find out. And then we will go and start work on the fifth item. Nope, everything's back to normal. Hello. 
I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. And we can have no dialogue with the street starfish. I imagine the street starfish is now working towards getting a another one of those tattoos. Okay, the fifth one we're going to be working on is the magic talisman. And one of the things we're going to have to do is head over to the broken drum. Haven't been here for a while. We're not going to have any trouble with the uh, bouncer. Hello. And the uh, person that was here is currently the patrician, so we're not going to be talking to you. We're also not going to be talking to you either. What we're going to be doing right now is looking at this drink. Clatchian cactus juice with something wriggling inside. That thing is probably a worm, and we want that worm. You know what else we want to do? This may not make any sense right now, but we are going to uh, hammer this nail into this beam. You need the mallet for this. We're setting up for something. And the further setup involves the barman. Barky, a drink. Clatchian cactus juice. Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. Yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. Note that he grabbed a completely different bottle of that that just appeared out of nowhere. Our reward for this is the glass. Looks like it's been having a good time in that clatching cactus juice. What's he referring to? This rather drunk worm. Looks like it's been having a good time in that clatching cactus juice. And that is exactly the same line. I thought there'd be a different one, but oh well. Now, we want to head to the dungeon next, because we need to get something quite important. This uh, is the point where you have to start thinking minorly out of the box. We need information from the braggart. And to do that, we're going to be using the Truth Serum. Now, we have to get past these two, who really don't like me. Look, we're not listening. And we've used all of our ink blots. But there are two things that we can use. One of them is the leeches. The other is the paper bag. That doesn't work. Not on you. I was just wondering. What is it now? Don't listen. Well, it's about this leecho suction thing. Are you going to pay the balance you owe or what? What leecho suction? Our patented new fat removal system. Your friend here put a down payment on for a treatment for your wife and we need to collect the balance. You backstabbing little... Don't listen. It's a lie, just like all the other times. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, thanks, pal. Uh, no offence. No, no, none taken. Oh, good. So, do you want this leecho suction or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Clearly, I'm dealing with inferior intellects, which is quite hard to do in my case. And it's time to go in. You'll know that we don't have the leeches anymore. They are gone. We still have the paper bag, though. Let's just quickly work our way past here. I'm surprised the Patrician can keep working with all this noise here. Either way, dungeon time. We'll be coming here one more time. But right now, we don't want to do anything with the uh, racks over to the right. We want to deal with this hole here. Use the worm. Automatically, it uses the rope, which is good. And we have this rat. That rat has a zipper running along its back. Hmm, might not be a rat. Surprise, it's an imp. Pesky little blighters, these imps. Also, you're going in the camera. Now we have a working impstomatic camera. Yeah, this camera even has a little veranda and an easel for the imp. The little blighter looks a little drunk. Hope he can still paint okay. I'm sure 
things will be fine. So now we want to head over to the Dark Wood. Why? Because we need a picture. I'm sure eventually they'll uh, fix that giant hole in the palace. Eventually. So I'm sure eventually their uh, friendship will be patched up. Actually, who am I kidding? I'm destroying what little friendship they had. Okay, out we go. Through the city gate and to the beyond. This area is quite small and I quite like that. The fact that uh, you go here and you're very quickly out. This way we go. Time to get caught in that web that isn't there and yet is. We didn't want that frog uh, for our uh, time loop. That frog certainly wouldn't have played ball. Time to carry on. No web. Web! Nice animation, though. What we want to do is we want to uh, do something that was very, very vaguely hinted at in the past. And that is that we need to take a picture of an award-winning sheep. Remember that uh, we distracted the uh, barbarian at law with the picture of the award-winning cats? Well, this is a sheep. It's now an award-winning sheep. What a pretty little sheep. And she sure looks like championship material in that blue ribbon. Exactly. And so, let's take a picture. Marvellous! A nice impstamatic picture, even if I say so myself. Aha! It even catches the coy little glint in her eyes. Now we need to actually frame it, which means we're using this octopus picture we got ages ago. Now... A nicely framed impstamatic picture, even if I say so myself. Aha! It even catches the coy little glint in her eyes. And now... Let's use the truth potion on these tankards. You can see that one of them is frothing pink. A brimming tankard of truth potion. Just a thing for those hot summer nights. Now we can finally find out what the braggart actually did. Or more importantly, where the braggart went. Come along, luggage. We've got places to be. And those places are not here by Nanny Og's house. Can't defeat a dragon if we stay here, though if we stayed here we might be able to avoid the dragon's notice for a little while. A little while, anyway. Right. Let's go. Also, that frog looked very shocked there. Forgot about that. Right. Over here we go. Don't have to go through the pass. And... Back. The final item is going to, uh be a lot more straightforward, for the most part. To the drum we go! The only way we can get the truths is using that uh, potion and the picture. The picture is remarkably important. Come along, luggage! Ignoring everyone else, I don't think uh, these people have new dialogue anyway. You might, but... Uh, I think we've drunk the drink we need to drink. Okay. Picture on beam. Looks lovely. And truth serum spiked drink on the braggart. Egad, look. A picture of the Gold Cup winning rooster at the Clatchian Animal Crooning Competition. Oh no! May I draw your attention to the picture of the award winning pig from the Ankmore Pork Pork Butcher's Guild Ball? Nice! Yes, that certainly is something. 
But what about that picture of the special merit medallion winning cockatrice from the Wildlife Preservation Society's award ceremony for recently extinct species? Uh-oh. None, however, can quite, to my mind, match the magnificence of that blue ribbon winning sheep from the uh, Followers of Offler Sacrificial Lamb competition. Yeah, that was the one. We needed that so that we could turn it around one more time. Right, drink up. Run out of things to distract with. There we go. Ha! Got you at last. Got me? How? But... but... there's nothing I can tell you. It's... it's all lies. I... I'm a weasel. Nothing but a weasel. A snivelling, no good, lying little we... Yeah, now look. So, just long and brown and lying with words and stuff. Now look you, tell me about the Temple of Ofla. It's in the jungle, over a gorge. Any map will show you. Marvellous! That's the information that we needed. That and outing him as a braggart. And so, when we come back folks, we will go to the Temple of Ofla, and we will go and get the Magic Talisman. And hopefully we won't die. I mean, getting the Magic Talisman is all good, but if we're dead in the process, it's not really going to help us defeat that dragon. To be fair, there aren't many things that we can do while we're dead. And so, I'll catch you next time folks, and I'll see you then. Later.